Harold, uh, one more thing. What is it, Sai? Could you take Maro a message? I suppose. Is it just going to be like hers? No, 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 nothing like that. It's something definitely unrelated. So, what's the message? Oh, okay, fine. You got me. Happy? Just tell her procedure smeager and that she puts the why are you in Cyrus. I don't know that's such a good idea. I mean, what is this whole thing about exactly anyway? She started it. Back in the days, we were both part of the Archive Club. She was always so darn keen to throw away all the rules and invent new archiving procedures. She called it a healthy distrust for calcified mental models. But all it did was stop us ever getting anything done. So, you disagreed about archiving? Precisely. But it was fundamental. I mean, we respected each other's work, but there was this deep difference. And I guess neither of us was willing to budge. So, what did you decide about the archives? That's not important anymore. Come on, man. Sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Okay. So, no message for her? <sighs> Just tell her I say hi. She'll know what I mean. Okay. Catch you later, Sai. Thank you for traveling with all water. Hey, Professor. Got a meta message from Cyrus for you. Out with it, then. He says... Hi. Hi? Just hi? Yeah, just that. He said you'd know what it means. He's a sly one sometimes. I'll give him that. Stubborn as a mule. What's a mule? Oh, don't you start, Harold. Leave me be. I've got to think of a comeback. I mean, get some important work done. Madam CEO, you're going to want to hear this. I'm listening. It's the new boy, ma'am. It's picked up a signal that we have reason to believe originates from Earth. Earth? Have you reverse dated the transmission? We have. It was sent in 2102. So 126 years after, after we left. Things would have been pretty rock bottom back there by then. Let's hear what was important enough for them to call after us. Maybe it was their final farewell, huh? <laughs> I hope it's nothing too awkward. Okay, I'll send a copy via... Well, just play it to me. I've got a 1205. But, Mom, it's only 10... And of those. Okay, playing back now. This is Earth. Earth to the Fedora. Boy, you were sure hope you're all okay. Whoever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Can't stand! Cut the damn line! You're live! What? Oh, fudge! Professor, did you hear that strange message? It was hard to miss. It's the first message from Earth. Ever? Certainly, in my lifetime at least. I wonder, what kind of message would a dying civilization speculatively send to a ship that can never return? What do you think it means? It means that the fact all water have shared it publicly yet, they're thinking about how to turn it to their advantage. What if... It's not the first message. Don't be paranoid, Harold. What reason or authority would they have for keeping messages from us? Still, even if they had planned to share it immediately, they look suspicious now. Gosh, that message could be anything. 
Maybe they've got information for us about our mission. Hmm. Well, what could that information be? If we presuppose... Yes? Oh, it's you. Yes? No. Indubitably. Fine. What? 15% out of the question. Okay, sure. See you shortly. Harold, I want you to come with me. Huh? To where? What? Who was that? Why, it was the CEO of Allwater Corp, of course, asking me to jump. What for? How high? Indeed, Harold, indeed. Well, unfortunately for my bath, she was adamant we went there immediately. She even unlocked our tube tickets for emergency night travel. But why? What does she want with us? Well, soon find out, won't we? Come on, let's not keep Her Highness waiting. Crisis control. We need to get out there ahead of the turn in public sentiment. First move advantage and get this working for us, not against us. Yes, come in, come in, come in. Now, as you both know, time is of the essence. Sorry, where are my manners? Would either of you like something to drink? Ah, I suppose I might like a coffee? There's really no time for coffee. Time is of the essence. Professor, would you like to sit? No, thank you. I prefer to stand. Oh, a woman of action, I love that. Anyway, we must act. Due to the unfortunate communique incident, we've been forced to move up the schedule. It's imperative we deliver some good news about the start procedure. Hmm. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. To that effect, Professor. And, um, you there. I'll need you to supervise Cyrus directly. We can't afford for any unforeseen delays. Cyrus? He works best undisturbed. The man is a stubborn buffoon, but there's no doubting his thoroughness. Professor, please. It would do this old heart good to know that you were keeping a watchful eye on him. Or maybe your, um, protégé here could do it. I'll hang out with, I mean, watch Cy, sure. If it makes you happy, Madame CEO, we'll make sure Cyrus delivers. Great. Music to my ears. Thank you both. You've done all water and the ship a great service. We're ready. Go live and stay on schedule. It's my privilege to announce to you all today that our new boy program has already proven an unmitigated success. We present to you now the full and unedited audio that represents the first incoming message we've received in our lifetimes. Now, before the message plays, I'd like to take a moment to reiterate just how proud we should all be of progress on the new start procedures. It won't be long before we're ready for the first attempt the latest in a long line of steps on the road to a greater, brighter future for us all. Please enjoy this message, brought to you by the All Water Corporation. This is us, us to the fedora. Boy, we should be running on okay, whomever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Things were pretty rocky here when you left, of course, and, you know, that was a brave move. Probably the right decision at the time. We didn't know whether to even tell you this, but we figured maybe it would give you some comfort way out there in the freezing clutches of deep space. What? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess. Or, I mean, even better, comforting, warm embrace of a lovely, habitable new planet. Well, we just wanted to let you know that we pulled together down here. The sparrows calmed down and things pretty much worked themselves out. Life still isn't perfect. Bananas died out, and you've got to be pretty careful around water. But by and large, we're back on track. I've survived. Wish we could send you a postcard. Any, be safe, and maybe one day we'll get a hello from you. We'll be listening. What are you all still doing here? Don't you have work or something to do? 
Scram! And what time do you call this? Uh, good morning, Professor. The time is... I know what the time is. There's lots to be done. How are we going to find out who the Light Keepers are? I'm just as curious as you, Harold, but we have better things to do. I suppose you're right. How can I help? You can start by taking the rope to Bridget. She'll make the necessary preparations for analysis, which you should be able to handle. Okay, great. I'll get right on it. And Harold? Try to remember that whoever the Light Keepers are, our jobs here are to make life more stable for the people here, not less. I know. I know. I'll get going. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest abductor and all water will make it up to you. Hey, Harold. Hello, Sai. How's the start procedure going? So-so. I've got an awful lot to get through. That's not true, Sai. Madam CEO asked us to keep an eye on... Uh, I mean, help you. Hmm, what do you mean, asked? And... Uh, just that... Hmm, huh. well, she must really trust me. It's not like I'm one of the ship's foremost experts in molecular sciences. So... What is, is your procedure idea exactly? So... The f As we all know, the ship's weight and the fact certain sections are full of water gives us a stable buoyancy, and because of the tide, we're on a very slow and long orbit. So, we start by pumping some of the water out through the, sh the ship's thrusters, accelerating our orbital trajectory. Then comes phase two. Once we reach a certain... ...meaning us sink deeper toward the gravity well, which will tighten our orbit, but keep the speed, thus building... Gr yeah, like those... Oh, those videos. When you get slip. Ooh, is that where you got the idea from? Um, no, my idea came from less frivolous. Mm, but yeah, they are good vids. As I was saying, 
Once we reach max possible speed, here's where it gets fun, <laughs> and use the sudden extra buoyancy to break free of our on an upwards... Oh, a bit like an... It, uh, uh... Oh, I found a book lying... I kind of hoped it was going to be... Ah, interesting. But anyway, here's where it gets tricky. As the fedora is still going to be denser than the surrounding our velocity will slow down the closer we get to the surface, but if we time everything right, our initial slingshot should create just enough momentum to allow us to break free the ocean surface for about a minute. Like a flying fish. It'll be so weird to see the sky. Focus, Harold. This is the most crucial part. We must launch the thrusters at exactly the right moment if we wish to achieve a too early. They'll be waterlogged. Too late, and we'll crash right back into the sea. Wow, Sai, that's an amazing plan. Think it'll work? Well, in theory, absolutely. But there's something in my calculations that seems off. I've checked everything, but I can't pin down the variable. Like the timing? Um, kind of. Now, if I didn't know better, I'd say time itself. Okay. Anyway, what did Maro say about what Madame CEO said? Oh, she said she'd trust you and that there was no need. Did she now? Uh, yeah? Hmm, huh. Knowing her, she did it just to spite the CEO. Anyway, you seen Sunny recently? Um, no. Not for a long time, actually. Since you two went your separate ways? Mm hmm. She said she needed to find herself. Oh, I'm sure she'll turn up eventually. Were things. All right between you? Yeah, it was, you know, we're, we're two different people. Sunny alone is at least two different people. But I'm glad it wasn't anything too dramatic. Anyway, back to work for me. Yeah, looks like you've got it cut out for you. Good luck, Sai. Hi, Bridget. Are you ready to rock, Harold? I have it here. With rock. Oh, Harold, you can be such a killjoy sometimes. Anyway, it's going to take a while to analyze this little guy, so I'll set you when it's ready. Oh, okay, great. Thanks, Bridget. Oh, Harold, while you're here, maybe you could help me with a little something? Uh, maybe, but what you think? Now, now, now you'll do quite well. There's a little experiment I've been wanting to run. The remote control of the conveyors isn't working right now. My theory is Cyrus and his mugs of tea that he always forgets about before knocking over. So I need your help to manually control them. Can do. I'll be in here recording and analyzing the data. Right. See that button over there? The blue one next, next to the conveyor starts and stops them. I think I can handle that. Yes, well, don't get cocky. I'll give you more detailed instructions over the loudspeakers as we go along. So, there are 
three different types of organisms on the conveyor. Each is a different color. Are they pretty? See, don't I make life easy for you? But I want you to focus on the red ones for now, since we're comparing their data to past readings. Red one. I got it. I'd be worried if you didn't. Anyway, pop them under the green machine next to you and stop the conveyor, please. Okay, great. On to the next step. Now, you see the analysis machine? Go start it up. The machine's UI is pretty easy. There are just two buttons. One to chop the sample, and one to coat it in our lovely space bacteria mix. Chop and coat. I see. Right. I'll be prepping the actual data recording in the meantime. I'll let you know exactly when to start the process. Wait for my command. Just like comedy, timing is everything here. Now! Wrong order! Chop first, coat second. Chop and coat, not coat and... Harold, what did I tell you about timing? The sample will be useless to us now. You'll have to repeat the first steps. Please, we haven't got all day. Nice one. Now, on to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Nice. Let's see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Okay, we need two more readings to have a representative data set. You're teasing me, right? Red ones, please. Harold, please. We haven't got all day. Okay, great. On to the next step. Hey man, you didn't wait for my signal. So, back to the beginning. Start over. Um, did you mean to stop the conveyor belt there? You're teasing me, right? Red one, nice one. Now, now on to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Okay, great. Show me what you got. Hmm, intriguing. Just the one left now. Please, we haven't got all day. Um, did you mean to stop the conveyor belt? Okay, great. The next step. Harold, what did I tell you about timing? The sample will be useless to us now. You'll have to repeat the first steps. Nice one. Now, on to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Okay, great. Now show me what you got. Hmm, intriguing. Nice one, Harold. That's everything we need. Meet me back at the control room and we can look over the results together.
These results, it looks like our catalytic bacteria is starting to have diminishing returns on the energy output. That's not good, right? No, but it also doesn't make much sense. Why would the bacteria have been fine until now? I'm not the best person to ask. What could have changed? I'm not sure. I've run the tests. The key variables, pH level, density, etc., are all stable on the bacteria. We're using the same organic matter for it to convert. And I've been double-checking the filters. They're filtering at the same levels as always. I mean, could something outside the ship be to blame? It is possible that somehow the organic matter is being affected before it hits the filters. But none of the tests we've run on the matter itself shows any key variance. Hmm, strange. Are the energy returns diminishing very badly? I'm not panicking yet, Harold. It's just a trend we can't let continue indefinitely. Unless in mir miraculous you find a whole new system for producing energy. Not panicking at all. Oh, oh dear. I should get back to Moreau, but just let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I'll keep you posted, Harold. And thanks. <laughs>